and I came from a history of heart disease and um, cancer, so that was really scary. I also had lots of other family members that had other issues with heart disease, um, especially, and so I was really kind of freaked out. And then my cholesterol was, you know, really high as well. So my total cholesterol was 242. Again, at this time, I'm 24 years old, and so that also freaked me out. And then I was, at the same time, I was also having problems with my blood pressure. So my blood pressure was, you know, 140 over 92. And then it would be 150 over 100. And it kind of, like, stayed around that range, like, for a while, where my my PCP put me on um, two different blood pressure medicines because they couldn't get it, like, lower. And so that was... I didn't want to be on, like, blood pressure medicine at 24, 25 years old. That was incredibly, you know, hard for me. The last time I got on the scale around this time, I was 185. And I already hated how I looked in photos. Um, I was in a wedding, and I had my photos taken. And when they came out, I was so mortified with how I looked that that really was a a wake-up call along with the blood test along with being on the medicine and I just knew I had to make a change um I was starting to get a little bit of chest pain like every now and again would be uncomfortable and so I was like oh my gosh I'm headed down such a bad road and so I started to do some research and you know I researched like how to lower CRP and like Mediterranean diet comes on so it comes up when you type it in so I ate like lots of salmon and olive oil and, um, you know, like, try to do that whole, you know, adding in vegetables and stuff. Well, my CRP did not budge. Like, I got it retested after doing that for a while. Didn't move. Also, my weight barely came off. Um, and so I started, it was like the night before Easter, uh, three and a half years ago. And I was looking through Netflix. And, you know, I watched a couple different health documentaries. And that's when I found Forks Over Knives. Um, it literally saved my life. Because, and I think it clicked with me so much because um, when you watch it, the producer of the Forks Over Knives gets his test done. He gets his CRP done. He gets his cholesterol done. They take his blood pressure. And, like, all of his numbers were better than mine at his worst. And then you watch him take a whole food plant-based diet, and his are all become, become excellent. And so I was like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. And it just, like, all, like, clicked. Like, everything just made sense in that this is now how I have to eat. This is what I have to do to reverse any of my problems. It just kind of, like, clicked for me. Like, this is going to feed my, my diseases that I'm going to get, or this is going to help me prevent them. And that's literally, like that light bulb came on. The results, let's talk about the results. So after being whole food plant-based, every you know six months I'd go and get my blood work done, but I was persistent with what I was eating. I didn't go back to eating whatever, you know, I kept it. And it takes, sometimes it takes your body a while to heal and come back down. I think about like how long I damaged my body and, you know, then we go hopefully feeling based and we want everything to be fixed within a week or a month. And it takes, it takes a while. You have to stick with it. Um, and so now, doing this for three years, three and a half years later, yes, my CRP number is now super low. But it took a, it took a little bit. And was I frustrated? Yes. After a year and it was, it went cut in half by an eight, I was like frustrated why it wasn't under a one. Or, you know, why my cholesterol was, you know, went from 246 down to 160. Why it wasn't under 150. And it took a little while. Now my numbers are really great for my cholesterol. 150. Same with blood pressure. Um, my blood pressure now is like 110 over like 70. And so I hope this motivated you. I hope that you make a choice. Maybe it's what you're eating for dinner tonight. Maybe it's what you eat for breakfast all week but to move towards a plant-based diet because I truly believe that is what is going to help reduce our risk for all of these different diseases. And it's so important that you feel empowered that anytime you eat something, you can either help prevent or cause illness. And I do believe that fully in my heart.